Hello everyone, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. How's it going? Today I am going to talk about Firebug, which is a very, very cool add-on that you can use with Firefox that will allow you to inspect and or play around with your site's HTML and CSS code without having to open up your web design program or your editor so it's really really handy for testing new things or maybe you've seen someone's site and you go wow how do they do that well you can use this free add-on to inspect their code and see exactly how they did it because a lot of times when somebody has done something with like CSS it's harder to see by viewing the source because it's in their style sheet and if you don't know how to go and find their the path to their style sheet then you're clueless as to you know how they did it so it's a great way to learn how to do some some different things now I am not creating this tutorial to teach you to, to steal other people's code that's not really the purpose of this I use it mainly for a learning tool like if I want to say oh how do they do this and then I you know use the firebug extension to look at their code and then I just use that as like a foundation for my own code so that's really how you should use it and as I said before it's a great way to test your own site without having to open up your editor so the first thing you need to do is open up your Firefox browser and in order for this to work you need to use Firefox Firefox is much faster than IE it's safer and it has a ton of cool plugins so if you're a webmaster or blogger it's a must that you use Firefox you really should be on this browser and just forget IE IE is just uh, the later versions have gotten better but overall I just don't like IE I'm a, I'm a definite Firefox user so what you want to do is open up Firefox and you're gonna to go to tools and add-ons and that'll bring up this box now you're gonna uh, make sure you're, ho you're hovering over get add-ons and click it and in the search box you just type firebug now it's not gonna show up for me because I already have the add-on on my browser but I'm just gonna pretend I don't so you type in firebug and hit enter and it will bring up the firebug extension here and you just click this button that says add to Firefox so you'll just follow the prompts and wait for it to install and then it'll probably ask you to restart your Firefox browser so when you've done that you open Firefox and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how this works using a badge that I just created for my Twitter account if you uh, follow this channel and now this is my to create a website channel not my other Lisa 3876 channel this is my coding tutorial channel and if you haven't seen my video for how to create a, a Twitter badge I'll put the link to the video up there you should check it out because I'm gonna use this badge for the firebug example so let's say you come to my blog and you go, hey, that's a really cool you know, Twitter badge, Lisa. How did you style that? With Firebug, what you can do is as soon as you install it, you will have this little bug on the bottom right corner of your browser. See, I'm hovering, it, hovering over it right now. So in order to launch Firebug, you just click the bug and it brings up a little window here and you are ready now to inspect the site. So the first thing you do is you just go over here we're gonna click CSS because that's what we want to inspect and you click inspect and now as I'm moving my mouse around the page notice that it's generating a blue box and it's highlighting different sections of my blog so we're gonna come over here to the box that I created the badge and notice it's now highlighting the actual badge so I'm gonna click once and right there you come down here to Firebug it tells you the name of the CSS ID in my style sheet and if you come over here to the right pane you can actually see the attributes of this div ID for my badge so let's say you want to um, change the margin right now I have a margin set to 30 on this badge and let's say you want to see what it looks like with a margin set to 60 let me move this up a little so you can see the change so right here in the browser without opening up any editor dreamweaver or anything you can just click and you can change the margin right here now watch the top of my badge I'm gonna change it to 60 see just like that it changed the badge on my page now don't worry it's not changing my live page this is not happening on my site right now this is just in my browser I'm the only person that can see this 
but it's a great way to test new things with your site without having to open up your editor, save, open, save, publish, test. It's great. Um, so let's say you want to see what this is going to look like with a larger font. What you do, you go back over here to inspect and you're going to hover around an actual tweet. This is one of my tweets from Twitter. It's got a blue box around it, so I'm going to click. And over here in the right hand column, we're going to come down until I see the Twitter div again. And here's the font size. So let's say I want to see what this font size looks like if it's a 15. Just change it. And just like that, my badge is updated. So I know your wheels are spinning now. If you're a new CSS or you're just learning CSS, and uh, or if you're just learning HTML, this is a great way to inspect other websites' code to see how people did things. And as I said earlier, you can also check your own site. So you guys, this is it doesn't get much better than this. I love this plugin. I use it all the time now. I've learned so much from it. So definitely make sure you download the Firebug plugin because I think you're gonna like it and I think you're gonna learn a lot from it. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial and take care. Bye bye.